back to my channel. So I haven't seen you in a million years. I'm really sorry. I have not posted a video on this channel in two weeks, which is crazy. That's like the longest I've ever gone without posting a video. And I am so sorry. I really am. Um, it's just been kind of insane um, with work recently. And it's just been my fitness channel. I am posting every day on there, Monday through Friday. So if you haven't ever checked it out, go check out my vlog channel. I will link it below for you. It is a fitness and health vlog channel. I post a lot of workouts, a lot of full day of eating videos, um, tons of different vlog footage, and also some motivational tools and tips and um, information for you guys. So definitely go check it out. If you're also not following me on Periscope, I just got a Periscope. It is under 3S Fitness, which is the name of my online personal training and meal planning company. So I will put it below. You just search at 3S Fitness and you'll find me on there. I do daily motivational scopes and health and fitness related scopes. Even if you aren't a client, you don't have to be a client. Anybody can join my Periscope. It's at 1015 Central Standard Time every single morning, every day, every day. We have so much fun. I just started like five days ago and I'm obsessed with it. It's an absolute blast. We talk about anything and everything. It's just the most fun time ever. And it's like a live Q&A essentially. So I would love if you guys would follow me on there and um, join us for those broadcasts in the morning. It's our Coffee Empower Hour where we talk about how to kind of set up your day. I give you kind of a daily Nugget, nugget or a daily um, fact or tip that kind of gets you to think about something um, related to your lifestyle or motivation or health and fitness throughout the day. So it's a really fun time. I love it. It helps focus my mind and my goal is it helps focus other people's mind, your mind, so that you can have a really great day. And um, yeah, but that is not what I'm here to talk about with today. I just wanted to update you on some things that have been going on recently that you should check out. Also, I am on Snapchat. I haven't announced it on here either. I just had a Snapchat like a couple weeks ago. I think I joined on Snapchat then. So if you search Abby Esben Shade, I am on there on Snapchat and you can add me and snap me. That'd be really fun. But today I'm here to talk to you about my new wedding planner from Erin Condren. I designed this. This is custom. Um, front and back is totally different. I'm going to show you it in detail the whole planner in detail in a minute um, and why I love it so much. But I absolutely love Erin Condren planners. I did just order a different planner that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys really soon because I'm kind of obsessed with the outlay. Um, this wedding planner is perfection, but the Erin Condren planners, I need a little bit more space just because um, I do run my own business and so I need a lot of space to write down creative thoughts and ideas and different marketing things. Um, and so... I ordered a different planner that I'm really excited about, and so that review should be up really soon, too. I think I'm going to be doing it on this channel. But today we're talking about the Erin Condren Wedding Planner, which is to die for. I cannot wait for you guys to see all the good stuff that this has in store for you. Look how thick it is. It's really, really great. So if you want to see my wedding planner and everything that the Erin Condren Wedding Planner has in it, keep watching this video. Hey, guys. Okay, so this is our wedding planner. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. So you guys can see a little better. There we go. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And I absolutely love it. You can customize the entire thing. This made me so happy making this. So these are just pictures of Tim and I, as you can see, being really free and cute. And this is the front cover. And it says Abby and Tim here. Usually you would put, like, your first and last name, but I wanted to put our names. I thought about putting, like, O'Keefe Wedding or something or Abby and Tim's Wedding or whatever. But I just put Abby and Tim. And here is the back cover. So you can customize it completely. They don't have to be the same. So these are just some pictures that we've taken together. Now I don't have my extensions anymore. Sad face. All right. So we're going to flip it over and go through what is in the wedding planner. So I'll slide it over here. So when you open it up, it says this is our life. And you can just put, like, I don't know, your oh, my ring. Do you see it? Oh, I love it. Um, <laughs> put your names there. And then, this is the day I'll marry my best friend, the one I laugh with, live for, dream with, and love. How cute is that? I love it. So then you have all the tabs. I'll go to August. So this is kind of what it looks like. It is a monthly calendar. It is not a daily calendar. So this is kind of what happens. You, like, plan out kind of what you have going on this, going on during the month for your wedding planning. The goals, the things you have to do. And you can put like stickers and whatever you want in here. So that is what the months look like. And then when you flip it over, you can write notes for the month here. And then it automatically goes into the next month. And I got, and you see it's just the month, and then the notes, which I like because I have another planner for day to day. So this really is just for wedding planning, and that is what it's meant to be. So I got a 24-month calendar just because we're getting married in like... Uh, we're not getting married till next fall. And so I didn't want just 12 months because it wouldn't start yet. And so I got 24 months, so that's why it has so many of these. So I just keep, and it has like the quotes at the top, which are so cute. I love that about um, Aaron Condren planners. She just has like the cutest little quotes kind of all throughout. So 
Mine ends next July, or July of 2017, sorry. And then you have your last page that just has notes after you get through all the months over there. Then you have your notes section, and then you have your I, do you see that? I do list. And this gives you your top 10 wedding tips. So this tells you kind of like the top things. Get organized, picture this, take note, don't stress, stick to a budget, be resourceful, forever friends, attitude of gratitude, get creative and relax and enjoy. You can kind of read the tips um, that she has for you there. And then this is the best thing ever. I love it. We may not have it all together, but together we have it all. And it's perfect for what this is. So this tells you everything that you need to do before your wedding. 14 to 9 months before your wedding, 8 to 6 months before your wedding, and it has a checklist with little boxes so you can check everything off. 6 to 4 months before your wedding, and then 4 to 2 months before your wedding. And again, it's just so cool. It has like all things you, sh you should do, like confirm your readings and your toes, create your music playlist, hair, makeup, and undies, print menus and programs, things like that. It doesn't matter where you go or what you do or how much you have. It's who you have beside you. So one month before your wedding and then the week of the wedding. And that is what that looks like, the to-do list. I love how she has all this laid out for you, especially if you're not getting a wedding planner. This would be so, so great to help you, um, to help guide you through the process. So um, I, and I've been checking all this out to figure out like what we have to do and all that fun stuff. So then you have your bridesmaids and your groomsmen. You want to put your name, the phone number, address, email, their dress size, shoe size, and their measurements. And then it kind of has the same thing over here for the men. So name, phone, address, email, suit size, shoe size, measurements, neck, arm, waist, and inseam. So you put your bridesmaids and your groomsmen, and that way you have all their information. Your guest list. What does it say? A gloomy guest fits not a wedding feast. Cute. Um, so you can just put like your guest list here. It says to write the name, the mailing address and whatnot. Two pages probably isn't enough for most people. So I probably wish she would have had some more pages in here for that, but that's okay. Um, you can just write down like all the names and not the addresses and stuff. Here is the budget checklist, which I think is super cool. So it has like the reception, attire, flowers and decor, music, photographs, favors and gifts, ceremony, stationery, wedding rings, transportation, and is that all that's on here for the budget? Yeah. I love how she has this, Erin Condren has this laid out for you. It makes it really easy to keep track of your budget all in here. And it also is kind of like a checklist for everything that you need, too. So it just, like, lay, lays out, like, everything you need in every category, which is a really great thing for people who are going to be planning their own weddings, especially. Then you have um, picture this. So these are important shots you want to make sure that you get. The bride getting ready, shoes of sho shots of bride's accessories, shots of the bouquet, groom walking down the aisle, the kiss, leaving the ceremony. So this is really cool. Um, even if you just want to give this to your photographer, they probably already have it, but just like make sure you do these shots and then other shot ideas that you want so you can brainstorm some pictures that you want for your wedding and keep it all in here. So this really has everything, you guys. And then over here we have music is what feelings sound like. So song titles and artists, things that you want. Um, and then you can write on your wedding party intros, your first dance song, your father-daughter dance, and then your mother-son dance. So you can write, like, all your music and everything that you know you want so it's all in your nice wedding planner. I love this so much. <laughs> and then cheers. So this is just kind of the alcohol that you want, things like that, and it, what kind of garnishes you want, the personalized wine labels or napkins if you want something like that. And then this is just... Um, for different uh, foods. So what kind of food that you want at your wedding, your t favorite notes from your tasting, your rehearsal dinner, your reception dinner, that kind of thing. And then you have flowers. So the corsages and the bouquets. Um, what is this? Clip photos and ideas here. So you could put pictures in here, flowers for the ceremony, flowers for the reception. And these are cake stuff. So all your cake stuff, your wedding baskets, or welcome baskets for guests, sweet treats at the wedding, um, notes from your cake tasting and clips or ideas so you can put photos in here of stuff that you want. And then here is your vendor contact list. This is so helpful. Anybody who's planning a wedding, I'm just learning all of this, obviously, but you can put, like, all of the information for everybody here. So the caterer, the, the band or the DJ, um, the cake baker, the florist, the stationer, the officiant, the ceremony venue... Reception venue, photographer, videographer, seamstress, tuxedo rental, any other ones you have that has some extra ones here. The liquor store, where, how, wherever you're getting your booze, and your wedding planner. So you can put all that in here so it's really organized and you can just look in here whenever you need something. Then it's just notes, guys. Like any other thing, that anything that this doesn't have, which it kind of has everything, you can put in the back here. Ideas, sketches, dreams, that's really cute. Oh, it should have a place for a honeymoon, I feel like. But you can put that back here. And then you have your stickers. 
So it says, caterer, book venue, honeymoon, hair appointment, buy invites, order cake, shoes, buy rings, favors, bride gifts, grooms gifts, programs, and then empty stickers so you can write whatever you want on those. And I think you have like quite a few sheets. Those, and then you have um, the same, I think it's the same one here. Yeah, it's the same thing, just different colors. Get your wedding license, your limo, all that fun stuff, and then blank stickers. And then you have extra blank stickers back here for anything that you want to write in. And then this is just tons of notes, like tons of paper for you to just like write down any ideas that you have about your wedding. So it's all blank back here, which I love. I love how it has like the double rings at the top. How cute is that? And then at the back, of course, it has the pocket. Keep it together. And then it has um, these cute little stickers and things. So if you look in here, ooh, <laughs> I can open it. I can open it. These nails don't allow for this. There we go. All right, so it has these things in here. I don't know what these are. They're little cards. Invite a friend. And then these do-it-all dots sample sheets. So you, those are really cute. So, like, maybe you put these for your bills and when you want to work out and things like that. So that's really fun. And that is the end of the planner, you guys. This is the back. We're back at the front. I thought I would show you some other accessories that I did decide to get from Erin Condren. So I got um, these colorful date dots. I thought these were really cute. So you can put like dots on the dates. Actually, I think these were free. So you can put the numbers on the date when you go to um, like, let's see, November. You can put the dots here. So you can see which day of the month, which day the month starts on. There's that. I also got a pen holder. I love this. You stick this inside the back or inside the front and it holds your pen in this little thing here. I got some new pens, some new colorful pens because you need colorful pretty pens when you have a new planner. I also got a monthly budget book. I honestly thought that this was meant for a wedding planner, but it's just like a budget book generally, which maybe I'll use it. And then I got a wellness journal. I just wanted to see what this looks like because I thought it seemed cool. So um, this has like your meals in it. And then you can keep track of your workouts down here, the activity that you did during the day and whatnot. So I thought that was cool. And then the last thing I got was these bands, just because I might want to put like some inserts in here, some pictures, things like that. I want to make sure nothing falls out. So I'm just going to wrap it with a little band. And that is my planner, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out Erin Condren. I'll have a link below so you can check her out if you want to order a wedding planner or any other planner. I really um, like her planner. So yeah, I'll link them below the wedding planner so you guys can get it. Have an awesome day, and I will see you next time. Bye.